there, I'm going to continue with some of my ideas for how to use gelatos by Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft. And right now what I want to show you is how to do a resist. So when you stamp, you know how to do an embossed resist with ink. Well, it's the same thing with the gelato. So what I have here is I have a piece of resist cardstock. This is from Heidi Swap. And I'm going to take my gelatos and I'm going to use this green one, I think. And I'm just going to apply it over the resist. And remember now, the gelatos are in this, they're a color medium in this fantastic tube. They are acid-free, odorless, permanent, they activate with water, beautiful, vibrant colors. All I'm doing is doing a gentle circular motion around this piece of paper. And let's do, um, let's do a bright yellow in here too. And if I push real gentle, you can see I'm not gonna get as much color, so I do apply a bit of pressure. And if I get a little bit of color, I want to make sure that I wipe that off. Reason being is I don't want to put that down on my next project and have a little bit of green show up in my next project. To blend this, I could use my hand if I want to, but I'm going to use a little bit of a damp paper towel. Again, just gentle circular motion. And there we go. Very easy cool background with the resist. And so you could go back in and take more color off if you want, make it even lighter. Just did it with a cleaner spot or go back in with your color again and blend around with your color. Very easy with emboss resist. You could also make your own resist. Here I use some Lawn Fawn stamps. I used clear embossing powder and I heat it, heat set it with an embossing tool. Then I went and applied my color over the top kind of created an interesting background there. The other thing I want to show you with the gelatos is using some textured paper. This piece of cardstock I emboss with an embossability from Spellbinders. I'm going to add my color. Circular motion again around and try to get down in there. Probably won't cover all of this paper. I don't need to see all of it. Again, I could use my hand if I want to. I'm kind of a fan of the paper towel. Blend it around. Isn't that fantastic? I think this is just beautiful. I love the vibrancy of it. If you wanted to add some depth to this, you could go back in and very gently and very carefully, and I'm going to be very gentle now, I am going to highlight and rub just gently on the raised parts. I'm curious. I want to try it with just a little bit of yellow to see how the yellow would look with the raised parts accented. I think that adds a really nice touch by just getting it on the raised edges. I would not blend those raised edges in. I just let them set aside and dry. And there you've got another unique way to use your gelatos and bring out some great color in your next project. There you go. More ideas for gelatos. Have fun creating.